Hi, so today I decided to do some topology question. We have an open and connected subset of Euclidean space. You want to show that it is path connected. First, let me remind you that if you have connected, it does not mean path connected. The famous example is, of course, the sine curve plus the relevant part of the y-axis, which would be from negative 1 to positive 1. So union of these is a connected set that is not path connected. So both of these claims require rigorous proofs, and I won't get into those details in this video at least. But let's see how openness actually ends up helping to prove this. Okay. Um, the reason I chose this question, in fact, is a trick that I call a local to global result for free. And the message being that if you can achieve something locally and you have connectedness of the whole manifold or set that you're dealing with, then you can dissipate that local property to all of your space almost for free. And you will see this in action in the proof that I present. Hopefully in the future, I will have more instances of this trick and I will ask you to recall it. So, um, what we do is we realize that every point in your manifold has some neighborhood that is completely contained inside V. So any point you pick here can be connected by the line segment. And then, um, so if things are close to one another, you see that you can connect them. But what happens if you have two points that are further apart? Now, the intuitive and optimistic thing would be to say that, okay, then you take another ball and then you can connect this cross point to another point. And then from that point, you can place another ball and then you keep con you continue doing that. But the problem you can see that you may have shrinking radii so that you become nervous whether you will ever make it to the other point or not. So you can have bottlenecks in your manifold which will can make the progression extremely slow. So there's no guarantee that this method will land you on the other end. So to mitigate that, um, we use this trick of local to global and uh, we fix some x in V and we define a set Vx to be the set of all y's in V such that there exists path from x to y. So let me just adopt this um, wiggly notation of saying that there is some path from x to y. So this set is not empty uh, because x itself belongs to vx. Although I just showed that the whole neighborhood already belongs to it immediately. But I use that argument anyway again. So the next claim is that Vx is open. And this one is where we, we, we use openness of V. So suppose Y belongs to Vx. Then fix a ball of center y that is completely contained in v. 
and a path from x to y, which we call gamma 1. Uh, this path exists by assumption because y belongs to vx exactly means that there is some path from x to y. Now, if z is some point from this ball, then um, let the path from y to z, which we call gamma 2, be the line segment between them. which is completely contained in your ball, so it's completely contained in V. Therefore, from X, you can go to Z by first going with gamma one, and then joining it, concatenating it with gamma two. So this notation is sometimes used in algebraic topology, so I, I'm going to adopt it here. Which means that there is a path from x to z, and that means z belongs to vx. Now this was for arbitrary z, that means the whole ball of radius yr is contained in vx. And that en ends the proof that vx is actually open. So the set of all points that you can connect to x is an open non-empty subset of your v. If vx was not all of v, then you would have other v x is inside v that will have that would have no intersection with each other so Here's what we mean. If x prime is not in vx, then vx prime, which is constructed similarly, intersection with vx would be empty. Because if uh, they had some common point, so if x can be connected by z, by say gamma one, and then x prime can also be connected to z by a gamma two, then x can be connected to x prime by going gamma one, and then reversing, concatenating by, by reversal of gamma two. Uh, which would mean then x prime belongs to vx, but that that is contradiction. Um, so if if sorry if x prime does not belong to vx, if vx is not all of your space, and you pick some point outside it, then v of that has no intersection with vx, and this is the proof. Um, but but that's not possible. Um, so, Vx has to be all of V because otherwise V would be V, some union of Vx's where so you take Vx, if it's not all of your V, you find some point outside it and you, you add the new Vx to it. And if it is not still all of your 
v, then you find another point outside and you add vx of that point and so on. So v ultimately is union of vx's uh, where each vx is open and non-empty. But this is not possible, but v is connected, connected, so at most one summoned exists. If, if we had several of them, then you can separate one and then still the union of the rest will be open. So you would have V equal to union of two distinct open sets. And that contradicts the connectedness of the set V. And that means just one VX covers all of your V. And by definition, that means, so V is just equal to VX. And that means every Y in V can be connected to x and that means every y every y prime can be connected which we have seen above how to achieve you go from y to x and then from x to y prime um, even if there are better path you don't care, you just want to show that there is one path from y to y prime and that is to go to x and then back to y prime. So the trick, as I said, is kind of universal. So you want to achieve something, you know you can achieve something locally and then you define a set which by openness, um, because lo locality means openness, so by openness you can just extend this set forever. And uh, this gives you an open set. Because you globally have a connected set, you cannot have several of these sets. So one of them that you begin and construct should in the first go cover all of your space. So I hope you will apply this trick at some point. And it's just an amazing uh, tool that gives global results almost for free from knowing the local versions. Thank you for your attention today. Please subscribe and share my videos probably with a friend and hope to see you in a vi future video soon.